Hi, um, this is a problem for from the web assign, the projectile motion web assign from AP Physics B class. And it says water from a garden hose that is pointed 30 degrees above the horizontal lens directly on a sunbather and lying on the ground 4 meters away in the horizontal direction, so that right there. If the hose is held 1.4 meters above the ground, at what speed does the water leave the nozzle? Well, the thing I want to point out before we start all this is that you're going to have different numbers for for the degrees and the length. So just consider, just keep that in mind while you watch this video. So he, here's our little guy, our um, our little joker guy here, pointing this nozzle of, of, of garden hose towards this sunbather, this unknowing sunbather. So the, the water stream goes like, goes like, goes like this. So it just sprays on this guy. So, um, so, so, so what, what's asking is what, uh, what speed does the water leave the nozzle? So, so it's asking for V naught. So V naught. So question. So this is, this is V naught. And this is 30 degrees. Okay. So what we have to consider here is that is, is where it's going to end up. Um, well, we can we have a we have a set of equations that we can use which is x final minus x initial is equal to is equal to v naught times time and and we also have this equation y or v yeah v naught v naught times time or v naught x times time, v naught x times time, and y final minus y initial is equal to v naught y times time plus or plus yeah plus one half one half a t squared. All right. So what 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 do we know about what do we know about our positions? Well, well we know that we know that the final that if 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 we say this 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 point right here is 0, so 0 here in the y axis and 0 here on the x axis. So this is 0 axis and this is here y axis here. So x y. Um we know that from here to here, from here to the sunbather, is is 4.0 meters. 4.0 meters. And and from the sunbather to the to the point of the nozzle, because it, this is the point of the nozzle, I'm just gonna draw it in the middle here, just to show you guys, show you. Okay, so that would be that would be that would be 1.4 meters. And I'm I'm sure every all of you all of you have the same measurement for that one. So I'm just gonna say 1.4. So let let's try plugging this. Well, okay. So so where so where are we starting? This if this is zero, this is this is initial. So this is gonna be zero. So that we're going x. So this is gonna be zero minus x final. So x final would be zero. My bad. And x initial no x final would be four. Minus x initial would be zero. And v not t v not x v not x times time. And for y for y, we can see that we can see that. Well, it it starts at one point four, so initial would be one point four. And it ends right here, which is zero. So this is going to be zero. Is equal to. Is equal to. Is equal to. I'm going to use a different color for v not y. V not y times time, plus one half. One half a t squared. Okay. 
so we have our little we have our little little set equation so 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 I guess so if we if we try to okay never mind okay so what what's our next step well can we can we try to well we we know our um we know we know our components here well what for, for, before before we do components before we go into components how do we calculate components well I'm just gonna do this on the side over here so over, over here on the side so if we have a vector if we have a vector this way that is that is 30 degrees or 30 sure 30 degrees that is this way at 30 degrees and the magnitude is is 2.1 meters per second how do we calculate the component well it would it would be 2.1 well y component would be 2.1 times sine sine of 30 and the x component would be 2.1 times cosine cosine of 30 so let's let's look over here let's look over here do we know what well okay so if we if we apply this logic to here we we can see that we can see that 2.1 meters per second would be like the v naught and we have the degrees so so the so we can we can see that v v not x is same thing as r x if if we say v not x is same thing as r x and if 2.1 is v not then we can change this to to v not uh cosine 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 of the degrees which is which is 30 right here which is 30 so 30 t so this would be just 4 4 is equal to that okay now now let's let's look over here well v v not y if we set v not y is equal to r y, then then this magnitude will be just v not, and and if if we put that there, it would be sine thirty. So sine of thirty is is v not sine thirty. So we can just say we can say one point four equals equals or negative one point four equals v not sine sine 30 and then t okay I, I feel like I didn't make this specific enough but so let me explain this one more time so so we have we have if we look at our little ex side example here we have the magnitude of the vector which is 2.1 meters per second and that is that is that's a velocity vector so the magnitude is 2.1 meters per second and we have our we have our little angle right here which is 30 degrees so if we find it try to find the components of this vector we would say r y is 2.1 sine 30 and that's how that's how you find the component of the vector and for this one you would use 2.1 cosine 30 so it would so if we replace this if we replace this 2.1 meters per second with v naught, it would replace 2.1 with v naught, and 2.1 with v naught. So that would give us our components for r x and or for components for this vector. So it would be. So if we do that, then it would be v naught sine 30 for the y component and v naught cosine 30 for the x component and that's what we did here because we don't know the we don't know the initial velocity that it goes out um, we did we did uh, we did uh, we did we oh yeah we, we did v v naught cosine 30 for v naught x and v naught sine 30 for v y x so after that we're gonna add one half 
a t squared. Okay, now, ugh. okay, now we have two variables. Okay, we have two variables. Now, let's solve for t here because it's simpler to solve for t, and then we'll we're gonna we're gonna substitute it in into this equation for the y. So, what does t equal here? Well, t is equal to um, four over four over v naught cosine cosine thirty. 4 over v9 cosine 30. So I'm going to move this over here a little bit because we're going to need more space. Okay. So now all we have to do is we're going to we're going to we're, we're going to plug in this for t here and then solve for v0. Okay. So let, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So negative 1.4 is equal to is equal to v naught sine sine 30 times t, which is this. So I'm just going to make it into parentheses. So 4 over ah, v naught cosine 30, close parentheses, plus 1 half. A, forgot a parentheses there. So A times open parentheses, open parentheses. T is 4 over V naught cosine of 30. 30. All squared. Okay, so I just plugged that into here. Okay, now. Now let's uh, let's try to try to get more numbers here using our little TI eighty three trusty TI eighty three TI eighty three calculator. Our little TI eighty three right here. So we turn it on and we get let, let's see what we get for sine thirty. So sine of thirty. Ooh, let's make sure that it's in degrees mode. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have. Uh, 0.5 for sine 30. That's a that's a good number. Okay, so negative one. Let me use a different color. Negative 1.4 is equal to is equal to v naught times 